This is the video I'm going to walk you through uh, YAML rule plugin. This plugin in particular is for header replacement. And uh, you can see it's in the YAML rule plugin uh, pro repo. And the module name is called header re uh, replace. There are two different plugins. All of them implement the I action for the rule engine. For this as uh, request play, uh, request uh, uh, header replace. So basically, we got the rule engine passing the source headers, target header, and also a flag remove the source header flag. And after that, we do the ca uh, calculation to replace to return a request headers object back to the. Uh, uh, the request transformer uh, in, uh, interceptor. There is a corresponding implementation for the response uh, headers. So this one, we are using that to replace one uh, response header. Uh, the return value for this uh, uh, response headers object actually contains two different uh, objects. One is called remove, which is a list of the headers you want to remove. And also we have a map called update uh, it's a it's a map like uh, with uh, the header name and header value. So once we reach the point in the request or the response uh, transformer interceptor, let me show you the code. It's part of the uh, Life for Dear code. So you can see we here we have a, a request transformer interceptor. So when we receive request headers, we are basically going to do uh, parse the request headers, get a list of removed headers, and the run them to remove from the request headers, remove. And also, if for any update, we basically do a for each uh, get request header and put the, the header name and header value. That's the process for the uh, response uh, interceptor. It's, a, it's a similar to handle the response headers object returned by the rule engine. We are going to use a, a gateway to, uh, to do the testing. So if you look at the, the light uh, gateway configuration, it's here in the configuration. We are using client proxy transform transform. This folder is a con our config folder. It's set up here in the uh, Added config, so you can see we are we are using uh, dash d uh, left for j config drr pointing to co uh, config client proxy transform, which is this folder. Within this folder, you have rules .yaml. Let me show you the rules .yaml. For those two rules, we are newly added. One is for the pet store request header replace. So within this rule, we have rule ID, host, type is request trans transform, and this one's uh, the type for the response side, the type is the response transform. And then when we talk about the, the, the conditions, both conditions are the same. We just make sure the request pass, this is request pass, equal to slash v1 slash pads. And this one the same, request pass equal to slash v1 slash pass. So for this particular endpoint, we want to do the transform on both sides, the request side and the response side. So if we look at the action, we pass in the action. This is a source header. It's called fling token. Uh, target header is authorization. And the remove source header equal to true. What we want to do is this. We in the request, we have Flink token. We want to move this the value uh, in from a Flink token to the authorization header, and also remove the Flink token, uh, this header. For this one, we have source is uh, a header is uh, x text one, and target is a my header. So we want to use the value from x text one to replace the value in my header in the response. But we don't remove the x test one header because the, the flag is not there. So this is the rule for the configuration uh, in the in the values of YAML. You can see we ha first we we have a rule loader. 
So the rule loader uh, uh, endpoint rules, this is necessary like uh, because we are now using the light portal. When we use the light portal, the rules uh, uh, is part de de deployed to the light portal. You don't need this anymore. It's automatically load from portal. So what we added is this endpoint, slash v1 slash uh, pets at get. So this is the get request on the path v1 slash v1 slash pets. So for, for this particular request, we have a, a request transform rule. This is the rule type. You can you can see when we walk through the rule, this is the rule type. And uh, we have list the rule IDs. Uh, there is only one rule ID is pastor request header replace. Also, we have response transform rule. This is the rule type, and we have rule ID is pastor uh, response header replace. So this is a, the rule IDs defined for this particular endpoint slash v1 slash path at get. If you go to the rules uh, table, this is the ID we mentioned, and this is the type. This is a response transform, and the other one is called it's a request transform. This is the ID. So that's the configuration for this uh, rule loader uh, endpoint rules. Also for the uh, request, or sorry, response transformer YAML, we add this response transformer dot applied uh, pass prefixes. So for now, I'm not testing the response. So we just uh, we, we don't have that entry, but if you want, you can add this entry into here using the comma to separate. So this is a list this is the list the pre pass prefixes that we will have this uh, uh, response transformer triggered. And on the request side, we have request transformer applied pass prefixes. We have this uh, slash v1 slash paths. So this pass will uh, ensure we trigger the rule engine. That's, uh, that's how we uh, config the rules. And also, if you look at uh, the, the pass prefix service, we have slash v1 paths go to the path store. We also have this uh, uh, co uh, com network t. Uh, pass star 100, go to the local host 9443, which is the pass star instance I will start with an ID. So this is the configuration to config this gateway instance to forward the request to the backend pass star API. Within the handler, we have those two handlers defined. One is called re response interceptor, the other one is the request interceptor. They are all wired into the default chain. And also, you can see, yeah, and no other place like uh, we have this. Uh, uh, we also have this place, yeah, the re response interceptor. We have two different in, uh, interceptor implementations. One's a response body interceptor, and also we have this uh, response transformer interceptor. And uh, for the request interceptor, we have request body interceptor and the request transformer interceptor. So when we are doing the, our, uh, the next test, we are going to use this uh, request transformer interceptor. So that's the configuration. So we got the server started already. This is uh, uh, the gateway server. And also, if you look at the past store, backend, we got a pass store backend started uh, as well. This is the pass store backend and listening to 9443. Uh, the endpoint we are accessing uh, from the gateway or from uh, the uh, consumer, which I'm, I will be using uh, the uh, postman, will be this endpoint, pat get, uh, pat get uh, uh, handler. I, s I set a breakpoint here so that we can see what's the request header we pass into this uh, backend application because we are doing the header replace on the uh, on the gateway. So let's show you the request that we're gonna send. So this is the request we're gonna send. Eight four four three actually is the uh, is the gateway 
uh, port and this one actually 9443 we are accessing the pet store directly so let's say we have this we're using this for testing so you can see we have flink token it, the value is a flink access token and this is the request we're going to send we are expecting this flink token will be dropped from the header uh, on the backend api and also we add uh, authorization header with uh, the value is flink access token so this is uh, what we are expecting so when i do the send i got uh, the breakpoint triggered and you can see here we are getting in the backend application the past store application we are getting the request headers within the request headers you can see this is request headers within the headers we have uh, uh, you can see we have authorization here so this is the authorization and you can see we don't have a flink token anymore the flink token was dropped and the value from flink, uh, flink token it went into this uh, authorization header yeah here is the bytes like we can read the header if we want to So this is how this uh, transformer works. If you want to see how the transformer really works, we can set a breakpoint before the, uh, in the gateway, because gateway we are starting the gateway in uh, uh, in a debug mode. So what I can do is this in the uh, request this action plugin, I can set a breakpoint, and also I can set a breakpoint in this. Uh, uh, request transformer set breakpoint here so that we know like how the process works so let's set the request again I'm going to send the request again send and you can see the first we triggered actually is triggered in the uh, plugin header replace request transform action so you can see when we go into this act this this section we actually get the, the, the value for the source header, target header, and also the uh, the remove header is true. This is a Flink token, this is authorization. So this is how we got. And we create a header map, and, all, and also we, uh, we are adding, this is a true, and so we added this list uh, remove list and also we add a map for the new request so let's finish this so we return this uh, request headers using this request headers key as a map in the result map so let's take a look at the request headers the request headers request headers yeah so this is the object we have two different uh, uh, keys one is called remove Within the remove, we have a array list, and within the array list, we have flink token. This is the header need to be removed, and also in the update, we have a key called update. We have value which is a hash map. The key is authorization. The value is the flink access token. So once we finish this, you can see we trigger the request transformer interceptor, and here we are gonna uh, update. The request headers so you can see how we update headers we call the exchange uh, get request headers and remove this all the headers within the remove list and I'll also if the map is not equal, equal to now we basically like update to put uh, the key and the value from the map into the uh, uh, request headers so this is the how 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 it works once this is done we continue and uh, the backend api is going to receive the request pass store and at this time the authorization contains the value from the flink token that's it so this is the the entire process and uh, when you create a new rule uh, or plugin normally you just use this approach to do the debugging to make sure it works you can uh, 
create a breakpoint and walk through the entire process end to end. Uh, there is another uh, replace header replace uh, plugin in this same package, and uh, it's on the response side. I won't. Uh, uh, you can see we have a. In this project, we have README. So within the README, you have all the information regarding how to set up uh, the response uh, tr uh, transform action. It's very similar to the request. So I probably won't uh, record a video for this. We have numerous plugins in this package and all the source code is uh, open source. You can find them from a uh, uh, network uh, repository. So basically, this is the, the YAML rule plugin, and this is a header replace. And also, we have Light4G to uh, have uh, all the uh, request transformer, response transformer there, the interceptors. And uh, also, you have gateway with configuration for the client proxy transform. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if you have any questions, like uh, please uh, don't hesitate to ask uh, within this those project like uh, open issue. Thank you.